In this tutorial, you will learn how to install the OS Ticket Customer Support System on a Linux Ubuntu 22.04 LTS server. So, OS Ticket is a powerful and highly customizable open source support ticketing system. It provides an easy to use interface for managing customer support tickets and allows support personnel to quickly respond to user inquiries. It is designed to be highly extensible and can be used in a variety of different scenarios, ranging from small businesses to large enterprises. It is a system that makes it easier for businesses to streamline their support processes. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to show you how to connect to the Ubuntu server via SSH. I'll also show you how to install package updates and to set a custom host name. So run the command IP address list grep inet directly on the server. That will return a list of the IPv4 and IPv6 IP addresses. I identify the LAN address for the server and then run the command ssh administrator at the LAN address for the server or the public IP address for the server. It depends on where you've deployed your Ubuntu server. Type in yes and then type in the server password and press enter. So I've successfully connected to the server via ssh. So run the command sudo su or super user do and then su at the end and then type in your password. Okay, so I'm now going to show you how to install the package updates. You actually need this to complete this tutorial successfully. So run the command ap sudo apt update, and that should then go through to then download the system and package updates from your configured uh, repositories. And next, you then need to open up a new command line uh, window and run the command sudo su. So um, I'm going to edit the default host configuration file for my MacBook. And I'm going to add an entry that points to the IP address for this for the server. So just type in the LAN address for the server, and then at the end, I'm just going to set that to OS ticket server.local so that when users need to access the system, they only need to type in OS ticket server.local. So the next thing that you need to do is to download the Open Lightspeed web server. I'll also show you how to install MariaDB, PHP, and also how to download the OS ticket installation files. So copy and paste the command for adding the Lightspeed repository, and then run the command sudo apt install Open Lightspeed. And then I'm also going to include the lsphp81 package as well. So if you press enter, you should now see the installation now in progress. So this should then download the Open Lightspeed uh, web server as well as the, the LSPHP81 uh, package. So you need to set a password for the admin user. So just paste, copy and paste that command and then type in the username that you'd like. In my case, I'm going to use admin and then I'm going to also type in the password that I'd like to use. You also need to configure the firewall to allow traffic on port 8088, port 7080, port 443 as well as port 80. So those are the essential ports that we're going to need to have opened for the installation to complete successfully. So proceed by copying and pasting the command for adding the needed PHP extensions. So you need to make sure you install these extensions so that OS Ticket will actually run properly. If you don't install these extensions, then you might face issues as you are using the OS Ticket system. So once the extension installation process is complete, I'm then going to show you how to install the MariaDB database engine. So run the command apt install MariaDB server. So that will then go through to then download the MariaDB database uh, engine. This should take about a minute or so depending on the performance of your internet connection. So um, once the installation is complete, I'm then going to run through the MySQL in secure installation uh, script. This script is important and helps to make sure that your MySQL installation is a bit more secure and helps to actually protect your setup from some of the most basic uh, at attacks. So I highly recommend that you go through this script, especially if you're going to be setting up uh, OS Ticket in a production environment. So um, the next thing you're going to do is to create a MySQL database. So run the command MySQL U root P. So once you've connected to the MariaDB monitor, run the command create database uh, OS ticket. Copy and paste the command for adding a user as well as granting the relevant permissions and privileges to the OS ticket uh, database. 
Type in the command uh, flash privileges and then exit out of the MariaDB monitor. Um, so the next thing that we're going to do is to download OS ticket. So run a simple Google search for OS ticket and then click on the return download link. So on the download page, there are a few steps that you need to select. So select the OS ticket core version that you'd like and click next step. Select the language that you'd like to use for your OS ticket uh, installation and then click on the move button to move it to the selected area. Select the plugins that you'd like to use and click next. So here you now need to type in your details. So I'm just going to type in my details and the OS ticket download process should now begin. So once the download is complete, I'm then going to show you how to copy the downloaded zip file to the uh, Ubuntu server. But before we do that, I'm going to create a directory in the server root. So just type in the command mkdir and then type in the path user local lsws and then specify the OS ticket uh, server folder. I'm now going to connect to the server via, SS, via FTP. So type in the IP address for the server and then type in your username and server password. Ensure that you actually set the port number to port 22 and then click on the quick connect button. So click on OK and we should now be connected to the Ubuntu server via SSH. So I'm just going to drag the osticket.zip file over to the Ubuntu server. And as you can see, the copy process is now in progress. So once uh, the copy process is complete, we're then going to install unzip and, and extract the osticket.zip file to the uh, folder we created in the OpenLightSpeed uh, server root. Okay. So first I'm going to install unzip. So just type in the command apt install unzip. And then once you've installed unzip, you then simply need to then um, run a command for extracting the OS ticket uh, zip file. Okay, so I'm just going to clear my screen and then I'm going to type in the command unzip OS ticket dot zip and then specify the D option to instruct unzip of the directory where we would like to ext extract to. So I'm going to extract to the OS ticket uh, server folder or directory that I created earlier. And then I'm going to change my working directory to the OS ticket server directory. And then let me just uh, list out the files in this directory and there's another zip that is there. So I'm just going to unzip that uh, zip file again. And as you can see, the zip file process is now, the unzip process is, out, is now complete. So there is that upload folder. So let me just go into that folder and see what's in there. So I think this is where the index.php file is located. So you need to take note of that for when you're creating the virtual host. So we're now going to configure the Open Lightspeed uh, web server and we're going to create a virtual host for the OS ticket system. So open a new browser window and type in the host name that we created earlier and append the 7080 port number at the end of the URL. When the login page opens up, type in your username and password and click login. So click on virtual hosts and then I'm just going to delete the example virtual host that is already there. Click on add and then set the virtual host name to OS ticket uh, vhost or any other name that you'd like. On the virtual host root parameter, I'm just going to set that to the server root uh, environment variable. And then um, you then need to set the config file. So I'm just going to copy the recommended uh, path and I'm just going to set that to the config file uh, field. So I'm just going to edit the VH uh, uh, name uh, parameter and I'm just going to set that to OS ticket. Select yes and then set restraint to no and then click save. So once you've clicked on save, click on click to create and then click on save once again. So click on view and then click on the general tab. Click on edit and then I'm going to set the document root. So I'm just going to copy the VH root uh, parameter. 
So just copy that and then paste that into the document root field. And then type in forward slash OS uh, ticket uh, server. So this is the directory that we created earlier from the command line interface. And then I'm going to specify the upload folder that I mentioned earlier as well. So click on save to apply the changes. So click on edit on the index file section and then on the index files field type in index.html type in a comma and then type in index.php and then set the auto index option to no and click save. Click on the rewrite uh, tab and then click on edit. So we're going to set the rewrite control to yes. So just that's just going to enable the uh, in a rewrite uh, functionality. So click on the icon for restarting the Lightspeed uh, service so that the changes we've made will take effect. So I'm just going to make a change to the default listener and I'm going to change the port that it actually listens on. So I'm going to set it to listen on uh, HTTP port 80. And then also I'm then going to add a virtual host uh, mapping. So select the OS ticket virtual host and then on the domain field set that to OS ticket server.local and then click on save. Okay, so restart the Lightspeed service so that these changes will also take effect. So I'm then going to make another change to the server configuration. So click on the external app tab and then click on uh, view. So I'm going to make a change to the LSPHP configuration and then we're just going to set that to LSPHP 81. So you just need to make a slight modification to the all of the parameters here so that the, they reference to the LSPHP uh, version, 81 version actually. So click on save to apply the changes and then I'm just going to restart the Lightspeed service so that the changes will also take effect. So I'm going to open up the OS ticket uh, web-based installer and then click on continue. But then it reports that there's a configuration file that is missing. So I remember that I hadn't set the required permissions and the owner of the OS ticket uh, directory. So I'm just going to run the command uh, chi on and then specify the recursive option and then type in nobody and no group and then type in the uh, path to the virtual host uh, folder. I'm also then going to set the uh, permissions on the folder again to 755. So you just need to type in the path once again and then press enter. So we've changed the owner of the directory as well as the files in within the OS ticket directory and also set the required permissions as well. So I'm going to move my working directory to the OS ticket uh, server directory. Uh, particularly I'm going to go into the upload uh, and then include directory and then we're then going to um, rename the sample config file to become the production config file actually. So if you reload the web-based installer for the OS ticket system, you should see this page. So you just need to type in your details and then you also need to make sure you configure the database settings and then click on install now. Okay, so the OS ticket system installation is now in progress. This should take about a minute or so and once the installation is complete, you should now see a Chrome congratulation uh, message. So you need to change the permissions on the include, uh, actually, actually the config file that we created earlier and then as recommended, so you just need to copy and paste that command into the command line interface. So I'm then going to log into the OS ticket uh, administrator dashboard and this is where you can actually make system level changes and modifications this is when you can actually set the name of the help desk as well as uh, install system updates and a whole lot more and I can even log into the agent panel from here and this is where the support tickets come in so let me open up the page that your users will see so there's a button for checking the status of a ticket and for opening a new ticket. If you click on open a new ticket, you'll see a form where you can actually fill out your details. So a typical user would fill out their details here, such as their email address. Um, they'll type in their name and their phone number. They would also choose a help topic 
this can actually be pre-configured from the administrator dashboard and then they have to then describe the issue that they are facing so for example I can say a uh, printer problem here and then in the description I can then type in my printer is um, not uh, working well or I can say my printer is not printing or something like that please come and check so if you click on create ticket you'll see a message telling you that the ticket has actually been created. That's just what the user will see. So if you go into the agent panel and refresh the page, you'll actually see the newly added ticket. If you click on the ticket, you'll actually see who opened the ticket and you can actually reply to the ticket from the interface there. So basically that's a quick look at how you can set up the OS ticket uh, support system on a Linux Ubuntu server. Please consider to like and subscribe to the channel and please also share this video with your peers, colleagues and friends. I hope this tutorial has been informative and I'd like to thank you for viewing.